It says write minus x squared minus 4x plus 2 in the form of a brackets x plus p all squared plus q. So here we're going to complete the square where the number here is in fact minus 1. So we've got minus x squared minus 4x plus 2. And now here, what we do is the same as we did with the previous example, we factorise the minus sign out of the first two terms. So we take the first two terms and take out the minus sign. So we're actually factorising out minus 1. So bracket minus, and then we're going to have x squared, but we have to change the sign here to be plus. Why? Because if we did... If we did uh, minus times a plus, we'd get back to minus 4x. So note that's here, that sign would change. Now we proceed like we've done before. We, Sorry, there's plus 2 on the end. Now we proceed like we've done before. We will take half of this number here, which is 4. And we're going to write down minus x plus 2 all squared plus 2. Now, in doing this process, we've actually added something in. So we could expand the bracket. So we've got minus x plus 2 all squared, which is going to be minus, if we, x plus 2 all squared is x squared plus 4x plus 4. Taking that minus sign in, we get minus x squared minus 4x. So notice we've got back to what we started with here, minus 4. So doing this process here, we took away 4. So here we have to do the opposite thing and add 4. So it's always the opposite thing we do here. So now we're going to get minus x plus 2 all squared plus 2 plus 4 makes plus 6. So that's now in the form of a of x plus p all squared plus q. Now note, you could have got this number here by just doing minus 1. The minus 1 comes from minus 1 times the 2 squared. 2 squared is 4, so we've got minus 1 times 4 which is minus 4, so we've got the same idea you'd actually add 4 here. So this has been a video to show you how to complete the square where the number in front of x is in fact minus 1. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.